Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to my little closet. Today, we're playing a little game called Dishwashing Simulator. Ah, God damn. I, I didn't even do that. That scared the hell out of me. Oh, why am I playing this? You guys keep requesting this game. Uh, I seriously thought before I even looked at it, it was a game about dishwashing, and it kind of is. But as you can probably tell, um, it's not like any other real job simulator out there. So we have a hole in the middle of the ground. This is not where you poop. I mean, I guess you could if you want. This is where the dishes go. If you put dishes down here, you get dish tokens. I don't know what you do with dish tokens, if I'm honest. But if simulators have taught me anything, you want money in them. So, yeah, we got some dirty dishes here. A hot dog bun. What else do we have at our disposal? Ooh, packages. How fun. What is this? Okay, so this is my computer. So we'll build that. Does this thing work? Devices locked. Please await further instructions. All right, well, I guess we're not using our computer just yet. There is not much to this game right now, is there? We got another box. This is our dishwasher. So I do know we get shipments from this little hole, and it looks like some of them are dirty dishes. So I'm going to play this strategically, put this nice and close to that. And voila! We are starting to survive. So you put the dish in the water and you clean it. There's actually uh, some books over here on how to play. So yeah, my primary goal is to wash and dry and deposit dishes in the hole in the center of the room, as I said. And while it may sound simple, you must also survive while completing the task. I don't, am I going to be attacked when I'm washing dishes? The most boring thing ever? Mastering the art of dishwashing involves understanding the sink and the sponge and dish itself. To wash the dish, simply place the dish in a, a, and a sponge in the water source and gently rub them together. You'll receive dish tokens based on two factors, dish cleanliness and dish dryness. The sum of those factors determines your payout, so you actually do have to dishwash in this game. One more very important note, the only way to save your progress is to sleep. Okay, so good to know. We also have this scanner thing, which shows us everything that we have. So yeah, we got bread. Oh, there's my sponge. I was wondering where that was. All right, so we'll start off by doing this. I, I should mention, we're not just going to be dishwashing. There is a whole elevator system here. Looks like we can go down right now if we want to. And that's where you go get rarer dishes. But you also can die down there, so I'm not really in a rush to go down and die just yet. Let me just do my job for a bit here, and it's not easy either. As you can see, you really got to put some elbow grease in to clean these things. Ah, the ding of success. Yay. Now that is one wet dish, so we're not going to throw that down there yet. We're just going to throw that there and continue working on my job. Oh, the water does get dirtier. That's funny. And I'm not joking. It would be faster to clean dishes in real life than it does take the clean dishes in this game. Uh, this is ridiculous. I really hope I can upgrade this thing. I'm even changing the water after every dish because I'm assuming that makes it faster. But it's like a minute of freaking scrubbing per dish. I'm going to lose my mind. All right. Well, that was all my day spent just cleaning <laughs> five dishes. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's two in the afternoon already. Not, not that you can really judge time when you're in a freaking dungeon. But here you go. It's looking like I am indeed getting paid one dish token per dish it looks like this is dry right that's looking pretty dry to me good enough and my job is done for the day now it's time to go down into the deep dark depths and hopefully not die uh, i should probably read the whole dungeon book just to ensure that i know what i'm doing i haven't played this game yet for the record i just kind of know how to play so yeah you go down to a place called the depths that can take on various forms but they always contain essential items such as food scrap and rare dishes so the goal is to find the rare ones so we get more money for more information on scrap refer to progression for dummies in the item store we don't have access to that yet all right so if you're approached by anything or anyone leave the area to avoid getting lost uh which is a common occurrence oh god i'm so bad at dungeons i'm gonna get so lost Keep track of your location. A popular method is to follow all the doors leading left and retrace your steps by going through all the doors to the right. That's actually a good suggestion. It's recommended that you bring a crate with you. You're provided with a complimentary crate at the start of your journey, but you can purchase various items in the item store. These crates allow you to collect more items than you can carry with your hands. All right, well, we have our crate. I just got to get my hot dog buns out of this thing. Release. Okay, and I think we'll be okay for survival items right now. This is a light survival game. But my bars are pretty filled, so I'd rather have an empty crate. Let's go down and hopefully get some rare dishes and not death. Okay, here we are. Day one. Oh my god, why did the whole graphics change? God, I feel like I'm in like a game from 1998. All right, so I'm just here to get some dishes. Nothing else. Oh, is that an upgraded box? 
I can't actually seem to grab that. That's unfortunate. <gasps> but I do have a potato or something. Yes, it is an actual potato. Nice. All right, so I'm going to do what was suggested. I'm going to continuously go left to see if we can find anything else so I don't get lost. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, this is looking good over here. There we go. We got a dirty cup. I didn't expect to be excited about that, but I indeed am. And I don't know what this is. It looks like... I don't know what that is. That's cool, though. That should be something good. But I found another dirty cup. Oh. Something is recording me. I don't like that. There's a, there's a camera over there. There shouldn't be a camera in a medieval dungeon. It doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. It keeps going. Damn it. I just want to get back. Maybe I should get back. I don't know if there's other things here. I might be overwhelcoming my stay. Oh, you can extract seeds from the uh, watermelon. I did know there's farming in this game. That's actually really cool. So I can use it for food or for seeds. Or maybe even both. I don't know. I'm really intrigued by this thing. I actually didn't know. Okay, this is just scrap. I mean, may oh, okay. Okay, you know what? You, you can have the rest. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to... I'm so I, I didn't realize that would happen. Okay, just get back. Just get back. I think this is the way. Oh, my God. Open. Open the friggin' door. All right. I don't care. I didn't lose a few items there, but that's fine. I got my friggin' watermelon. Oh, God. This makes me feel very uneasy. I don't like this. I don't... <laughs> Why am I playing a horror game? Okay. Well, I got a few items, so that's good. I'm gonna go to bed. Hello? Oh, okay. I, th I thought the game, like, broke. What the hell was that? What the hell's in my room? Oh, a present. Okay, today's going to be a good day. I can feel it. I got my watermelon. I got some sort of new present, so that's always exciting. And more dirty dishes. I am so shocked by that. All right, let's see what the hole is giving me. Oh, a phone. A phone that's already ringing. Great. Pay attention. Time is short. You're under threat. You're being watched. I've already saw that. Still, there's an escape route. I'm here to help. Trust is necessary. I expect my call. You know what? The fact that you told me I'm being watched and I saw that I was being watched last night. I trust you, phone guy. I mean, you probably did put me in this hole and are torturing me, but I, I still trust you for some reason. Okay, back, back to the task at hand. We gotta do more freaking dishes. I forgot my dishes down there, by the way, so I'm kind of sad about that. But at least I got scrap. Collect and deposit to gain research tokens. Does that mean I deposit it down here? I'm assuming that's what that paper is, so let's find out. I hope I don't regret this. Yes! I'm doing things! So I'm wondering if there's a certain time where the lights go out or something. So I feel like I have to leave quicker. So it looks like we are gaining water, so that's good. I'm going to consume one of these. Oh, it does look like it has multiple sips. Nice. I'm going to have a hot dog bun. There we go. I guess I'll consume the rest of this. And we'll consume one more hot dog bun. Oh, that, dro that drops my water. Okay. I'm going to keep the things that I can extract seeds with just in case we can get into farming early on. That would be great because trying to fight food down there doesn't sound very fun. All right. We'll see if we go back to the same dungeon or what's going to happen today. Oh, God. That's definitely different. That is way different. That is way more different than I expected. Hello? Oh, I don't like this. Okay, there's an eye there. Okay, so I do know this. the, the light is likely going to go off. So I am going to try and go a little bit faster. I don't like these eyeballs everywhere. Something's going on. What is that? What is that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I ran into it. I ran into it. Oh, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Please. This is a lot more scary than I expected. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a dead end. Stop. Oh, damn it. Did it just go into my head? I really hope I didn't lose my box. Oh, okay. So do not get lost. I I get so nervous down there. I can't even think. I suck at horror games. I truly suck at them. Hello? Do I get a present today for dying? I did get a present. Nice. Okay. What do I get today? Oh, that's not very fun when I get the same item two days in a row. I'm assuming because I died, we don't move on maybe. Oh, yeah, that checks out because I only have five dish tokens. God damn it. So I may as well go down first because if I die, I have to redo the day and I'd rather not do my dishes <laughs> like 15 times. So, yeah, we'll just go down. <laughs> See if we can beat it this time. Oh, and we're back to uh, day one, kind of. So these are totally randomized. Good to know. I like this dungeon a lot more. It's very easy to understand compared to the other one. Well, well, well. Looks like we got 
A golden bowl. Hell yes, dude. Finally, my first rare dish. Okay, I got a carton. Uh, looks like an ordinary plate. We are far away from where I was, but it's all pretty much a straight line. All right, just going to consume that one because I need it anyways. I'll take the banana and get out of here. I just want to make sure we get that golden dish. All right, yeah, I think that's pretty good. We got a full carton of goodies. So we'll lock those into place. And they're not locked into place. That's fine. As long as I don't drop them, it's all good. Is this it? Yes! Success, baby! I got my goodies. And I'm out of here. I like this dungeon. This one's nice to me. Goodbye, camera. Oh, you're not impressed with my golden plate? Way more successful today, so I'm very curious to see how lucrative golden plates are. I'll just drop these out of here. There we go. Clean the golden plates. Oh, look at that thing. Isn't it beautiful? Are you not impressed, overlords? All right, bowl's looking dry, so I'm just going to throw this down here just to see what a rare item's like. Wow! Rare items are no joke. That was 10 compared to the one I get for these basic items. I don't even want to do these anymore. I just need to find one golden I I item a day, and we are good. But, of course, I am going to do them because I need all the points I can get. Oh, and I just realized, damn it, I just realized now that my food doesn't stay. It, I think it spoils? Only thing that doesn't actually it seems to be the buns. So, does it actually say our health bar? No, it doesn't say when it's going to spoil. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, I thought I was going to be collecting food here. It doesn't seem like that's going to be that easy. All right, well, I definitely want to get to farming now. I'm going to go to bed. See what we get in the morning time here. Can't sleep. Wait until night. What time is it? Oh, man. I, I, I made good time today. I could technically go down again, I guess. I, I think I'm just going to go down handless. Oh, uh, no. I don't want to do it only because if I die, I restart my whole day, I think. So let's just wait it out. Okay. So, yeah. It does. Oh. Thank you for the ball. What if I put it down the hole? Huh? Huh? Ah, ha, ha. This is fun. Okay, so yeah, uh, bedtime is at 8, and that's when lights go out. So we can strategize when to go into the dungeons with that in mind as well. Because I don't like dark dungeons. Dark dungeons scare me. Okay, day 3 of dishwashing. Can I please have access to my PC? I didn't get a reward today. I'm sad about that. Ooh, hello? Managed to dial through to you safely. Those nosy folks have eyes everywhere. You're probably full of questions. Sadly, I can't answer most of them. Why? Partly because I'm in the dark too. And also, there, this line's one way. Let's not veer off though. Your main concern should be cracking into your home computer, assuming you've dared to touch it. Okay, so we have to crack it. Seems they've slapped a lock on it. Think of it as their little challenge. The reason behind it beats me. The folks behind this are a puzzle. But here's a shortcut. In the depths or the elevator realm, whatever you've taken to calling it, a floppy disk materializes daily. It's like finding a needle in a haystack true, but it's there. Start hunting. So I need to find a floppy disk. Find it, pop it in your computer, and let it work its magic. Unlocking it will be like opening a treasure trove of knowledge. To get you on your feet, I'll throw you in a manual. Computers for idiots. Should smooth out the learning curve. Best of luck down there. Okay, thank you. All right, so this just tells you how to actually use the computer. Uh, hence, computers for idiots. Uh, again, we're going to go down into the dungeon right away. Goal, obviously, is to get a floppy disk. All right, please be nice to me. Oh, not this freaking place again. Ooh, that was way too easy. Oh, God, do I stay now? Is, is this... I think this is random, and I think I just got the dream drop. So I feel like I might want to be very careful here because I don't know how hard this thing is to get. Just gonna keep that there and i just would love to get a couple items here if possible come on i mean we've saw what kind of people are here there we go we got a potato better than nothing oh i didn't even see these oh my god i i i'm just so bad at noticing things all right well there we go we got a bunch of apples as well that's exciting oh a chicken friggin nugget military water bottle yes please okay we're just gonna put everything in this front door oh no 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 i'm hearing whistling nope getting the hell out i'm just gonna drink this grab this consume it and get the hell out of here okay yep heard a guy whistling i would like to get out oh god go 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 ah! i don't like it i don't like it go dude i'm such a freaking wimp but that's okay i think that was smart anyways i mean we got another full load here and we got the floppy disk that we needed. 
Okay, what do I do? Yeah, insert floppy disk. Dude, that is the biggest floppy disk I've ever seen. Or the smallest computer. Insert. There we go. We have liftoff. Okay, so now I should go read that book. Oh. Okay, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Okay, what do you want? You've unlocked it. Good. Notice an IP pinging. I dug up old internal docs online. Found engineers built a failsafe to avoid getting trapped. You need five floppy disks. Sounds tough, but better than being stuck washing dishes forever. Dude, I hate it. I hate having to collect items. Daily as the depths reset, one disk appears. Grab a return and load your computer. After all five, a message unlocks. We're in this together. No one knows its contents. I added an app, Decrypt, to your computer. It's from the debug builds, but now in your version, that's where you'll see the message with the disks inserted. So yeah, it just says insert five floppy disks and the encrypted message will be revealed. Uh, name gets the name of this machine. All right, what are you called? I'm just curious. Oh, that's way more boring than I expected. Okay. Uh, well, obviously building store is probably where we want to go. Okay, well, we got, we can get a toilet. That actually might be smart. We can get an advanced bed, a research table. Ooh, I think I probably want that. A bin, computers, basic stuff. Why can I buy this stuff again? Okay, and we do have automation in here. So, oh, that's tempting. I don't really want it right now, though, only because it only washes the dishes to 50%. I really don't know why you would do this unless it just washed to 100%, honestly. But it looks like we can install conveyors, so we can get full automation in here. That's fun. And you can even buy spawners uh, to spawn dishes, so you can make assembly lines, it sounds like. Oh, no, you shouldn't have showed me the slot machine. <laughs> Damn it, why does every game have slot machines? I can't help myself. Ooh, I can go fishing. Okay, so fish, I, I feel like going for food right now makes the most sense. If we can get food, we don't have to worry about survival. So I would need the kiddie pool, the cooking station, and a fishing rod if I wanted to go that route. Ooh, I might want to get the flashlight as well. I'm just trying to see. Okay, farming is a lot more exp uh, expensive than I expected. We need fertilizer as well. Uh, fishing rod also expensive though. I don't know which way we should go for food now that I see this. We can get a better sponge. There is there's a lot of ways to go here. I think being that I'm a wimp, I'm going to at least get this right now. I'm sorry. I, 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 I need a flashlight. I just, I need it. Oh, I can't even equip it. I can't equip it. This is way less useful than I thought. Really? Just put it on my head or duct tape it to myself. All right. Well, I have, a, oh, I just blinded myself. I have a flashlight. I hope the batteries don't. Why do I keep blinding myself? I hope the batteries don't run out, but we are going to get some use with that, hopefully. All right, at least I got my dish tokens back thanks to that golden dish. So we're still sitting at 25. What the hell? Okay, so the good... The <laughs> Wait, is this like real? Oh my God, it is real. I can search for myself. Look at that. Can, can, I, can I watch myself in a game? Oh, this is this is freaking well, hello weird. There, everybody. Oh, no, Dre I don't like it. Here. I don't like it. Okay, so <laughs> it's literally just an internet explorer. Is there something deeper to this? All right, so I think I am going to go the fishing route. I just like that idea. So we're going to at least need the cooking station and the kitty pool. Uh, the rod, I believe, is 20 more tokens. So we'll buy that tomorrow. Well, assuming we get enough tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I just got to go to bed. I don't want to do this in the darkness in case something attacks me. Because yeah, I feel like... What the hell? Jacksepticeye? Is that you? What are you, what are you doing in this game? What? Oh, wait, I'm actually moving. Do you trust him because his words resonate with truth? Or is it merely because there's nothing else upon which to anchor your trust? You know what? Good, good question, dude. Are you in control or merely a pawn in someone else's game? I'm definitely a pawn, dude. I'm, I'm locked up right now, I think. Is it really so terrible to be a pawn? I mean, I don't really want to wash dishes for the rest of my life. Ponder this. We shall reconnect soon. Thank you, Jacksepticeye. I shall see you later. What the freak was that? Was that a glitch or was it, was that supposed to happen? All right, so we got our kitty pool with hopefully fish. So we'll put this over in this corner. It just feels right, you know. There we go. Well, looks like I can at least play in it for right now. And what I'm most excited about, okay, that's a lot smaller of a cooker than I thought, but there we go. We can build that right here. Unfortunately, I did lose my potato. So I have indeed confirmed Food spoils in a day, except for the uh, bread. So we definitely want to at least find our own food instead of eating this. This is a good safety net.
So with that in mind, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go down a without anything. I'm actually going to leave the flashlight here because I'm assuming the power won't cut out. Uh, and I just want as much space as possible. So I'm going to hopefully find my own food and eat down there. Oh, hell yeah. We're back in business, baby. My favorite place to be at. The place who hasn't scared me yet. I don't think, at least. Oh, a glass plate. That's got to be w worth a bit, right? Haven't gotten glass yet. That's exciting. Good start. Got some scrap as well. I, I want to get that research station, but I feel like food's a smarter thing to get at the start. What the hell? Is that like a viewing window for the sick bastard that has me locked up? Like, what is that? I don't like this place, man. <gasps> yeah, baby! Got myself my second floppy disk, so I can hopefully decrypt this whole place. And, oh, would you look at that? I got actually some bread. I wonder if the bread spoils that I find in here. I'm gonna keep that. Ah! God damn it, man! What the frig? Oh, God, help me. Help me. I can't... Okay, I have to hold it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay, there's booby traps here. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, so that was a bit of damage. That wasn't too bad, though. All right, I'm feeling very uneasy here now, so we're just gonna leave and maybe find a different route. I mean, we're doing okay. I would like to get more, but I also really don't want to get lost. All right, so yeah, I think that's more than enough for right now. I'm pretty much maxed out. Now I just got to remember how to get back. And there we are. Okay, doing slightly better. Oh no, 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 I hate you so much. What do you think of this? Oh, damn it, it's gone. Oh, that's so frustrating. I'm assuming that was worth a lot, too. Uh, collect four more. Wait, I already got one, though. Well, two, technically. Okay, well, that's a bit of a bummer. That means we're not going to get many points here. I'm very curious how much glass is worth. Now we know. Valuable lesson. Shocker. Freaking glass breaks. All right, today, big goal. Uh, get 20 points so we can get our damn fishing pool. Because I would love to have my vitals dealt with. I don't know how the fishing works in this game. I, do, I did see that we need to buy bait at the bare minimum. But do I lose stock, for example? I can't believe we're getting the same two areas so many times. I hate this one, though. There is a lot of loot here, usually, though. And I'm going to get lost. Great. Well, well, well. I think we're doing pretty good on these. I haven't found anything else, though, so that's a bit unfortunate. All I want is friggin' coins right now. My wash tokens. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Thank you for the potato. Well, we got a silver plate. Probably not as good as a gold, but anything is good. And a silver mug as well. I'm assuming these are worth, like, five each, so I'm happy with that. Now, I have a problem. I don't remember which door I came in, if I'm honest. Uh, so we'll go in this one, and hopefully... I don't think this was the door. I don't think this was actually... Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm screwed. This is it, right? This is it? Ha, ha, ha! I did it. Okay. I figured out my way back, which is good for me. All right. Two silver plates. I'll take it. And we also got one more floppy disk. All right, let's see how much these silvers are worth. So I got 11. I didn't actually look at how much I had at the start. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. <gasps> All right, so they are five, as I assume. Nice. Okay, I'm going to see what happens when we cook the potato. So hunger does 40% right now. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Uh, so it does go up. Okay, that's really cool. And there we go. That's 98%. Oh, sorry. 100% cooked. Perfect. So it, it, it pretty much went from 40 to 60%. Does that work with everything? Yeah, it does. Oh my god, I should have been cooking my buns, man. This guy just likes burnt food, I guess. So this was definitely a good purchase. Uh, I'm wondering if I'll lose these now if I sleep or not. Anyways, also, I think I have enough now for my fishing pole. I was just waiting for these to dry. All right, so I don't actually need bait, uh, which is great because I don't have enough for it right now. Bait's dirt cheap, though. So when we do have enough, uh, yeah, we can obviously use that. So how the hell do I fish? Do I just actually just plop it in here and wait? Hello? Oh, oh, hello? Did I get one? Well, I don't know if I got one or not. I don't know how this works. Also, I just realized, I think, hold on, let me just go to bed. I don't think I got my water bottle yesterday. No, they stopped giving me water and food. All right, well, food's addressed, but I actually do need to buy my own water. Well, I don't know if food's addressed or not. I would really like to catch one to figure this out. I don't know if I need to hold it. I mean, it is, it is a bobber, so I'm assuming we just wait. Wait, what? Screw needs a screwdriver to undo. 
<laughs> what is that? All right, well, at least I know I'm fishing. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait or what. What am I doing wrong? But yeah, this unscrews. That's really interesting. I don't really know much about the food right now. We got bigger problems. I'm going to need to buy some water. Wow, water is 10 dish tokens as well. Okay, so that is no joke. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, I didn't want that. Okay, so I think I figured it. I pulled up. I was actually not going <laughs> to... I don't know if I, I pressed E and F at the same time and I pulled up. So I don't know which one worked. But I got something I didn't really want. I mean, I guess it's good to have. More research points when we unlock that. Okay, so it definitely is an E and F. I pressed those at the same time. So I'm wondering if it's because I don't have the advanced pull. Certain fish I just can't catch that are getting hooked. Um, and I just have to get lucky and get something that's, well, scrap, I guess, or junk fish. Regardless, as you can probably tell, this isn't going to be a great source of food. Like, I don't get what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't get it. <laughs> Every time I pull up, I'm not getting a fish. I could be doing this wrong. I'm going to have to, like, research this or something. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to waste any more time. So, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. Uh, came into this not expecting much, honestly, but I'm really intrigued by this. One more thing I must try before we go. Oh, I can't even jump in the hole. There's an invisible wall. I was, I was so excited to end off with that, <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let me know if you guys would like to see more. I love the idea of automating this system. Uh, in the next episode, though, we very much have to worry about water because, well, we have one canteen left and that's it. Uh, hopefully, we can figure out the fishing. And yeah, things are going well, I think at least. And uh, yeah, we'd love to go deeper into this game to see what else we can unlock. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.